Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we'll be talking about cleaning data and pre-processing data. And why is this? Because there is a saying that mentioned garbage in, garbage out. This means that if we use noisy data to any model in machine learning, we will have garbage data as output. So that's why it is important to cleaning and pre-process our data. So I will not cover every step of data cleaning in this video because some of them doesn't make sense, such as analyzing outliers, but I will cover the most basic ones, even knowing that our data is not very noisy. However, it is important to do these steps. So let's start. So in the beginning, let's import pandas and our data set. If you want to do the walkthrough while watching this video, you can find this dataset in the GitHub repo. So let's read our CSV and check the shape. So 27,000 lines and five columns. And let's take a look at it. So we have country, date, rating, the review and the version. And now let's take a look at our info. So we have basically object, types and an integer for rating and a few null values. Ok, let's start with this. Let's clear our missing values. First of all, we will use is null and sum to check the number of missing values that we have. So we have two reviews missing and with this we can check what are those reviews and we can see that two reviews on 11 March and 22 of January. So to drop our missing values, we can do df.dropNA in place equals to true because if you not use in place, it won't do anything. And now we can check again that we don't have missing values anymore. So the two reviews that didn't have any text on it are not here anymore. The second step will be dropping unnecessary data. And why? So first of all, if we analyze the country column, we only retrieve information about US. That is only a unique value and it is displayed in all entries. As we only got info from the US, this column will not be necessary. We are wasting space with it, so we won't use it and because of that we will be dropping it. Another column that we won't be using is the version. If you are analyzing any other app while watching these videos or even this, you can pick up this column and try to analyze if there is a relation between the version and the rating, but that is not our case, so we'll be also dropping in this one. And to do that, we will use drop and select the columns country and version and also use in place true. Let's check our data frame. Okay, now we only have three columns. And now we need to change the data type of our columns. In this case, rating is an integer, review is an object and date is also an object. So we need to change it to date where it is, it is here. So let's do it. And to do that, we'll use pd dot to date time, and we'll select the column of our data frame. And now let's check our info, and we can see that we have date time for the our column date. In our latest step, we will verify data consistency. And why? Because sometimes data might not be coherent and you need to, to take care of it. In our case, our first step is looking for the strings with white space only. For example, if we have any reviews only with spaces or some tabs, we need to identify it because it will be noisy data. It doesn't say anything. And to do that, we will create an empty list. And then for each column, we will verify if the review column type is string, which we know it is. And if this column 
as only spaces. I put here the definition for this method. We will append our entire line to the empty list. So let's do it. Now let's check our empty list, which still is empty. So in our case, all the lines were fulfilled, at least without white spaces. Because of that, we don't need to run this. But if we add lines with white spaces, we should drop them. So for last, the rating values. We need to verify if our data in ratings is consistent. In this case, we rate apps from 1 to 5. And that's what we are verifying here. And by the way, these ratings are also integer, so we cannot give a rating of 3.7. To verify the minimum and maximum values, we can use the describe and see that it is between 1 and 5, as expected, which is OK. And then our unique values, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is also expected, so we only have integer values. So this is our final data set and in the next video I'll be doing a sentiment analysis. To do that I will save this data set. Thank you guys for watching, if you are not subscribed consider subscribing, give a thumbs up and see you in the sentiment analysis.